guys what's up welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be my april wrap up reading wrap up you guys want to see all the books i read in april i read 18 and i feel like there are really good ones in here i rated a lot of them five stars i will say i'm very generous with my five stars if i love a book i'm gonna rate it five stars anyways let's just hop into this video that way um you guys can get the recs anyways first book i read I just heard something in my room and it was weird. Anyways, first book I read is My Dark Vanessa. I actually got this while I was in London. I love the UK version of the cover. But yeah, I bought this because I had seen so much about it on Book Talk and I heard that it was very tragic and hard to read. Um, and by the back cover, you guys know exactly like what you're getting into. I'm just gonna say like trigger warnings before going into this book. Please do that. Not the same like thing as A Little Life, but it made me feel the same way as A Little Life. Just like kind of empty and like all the life was being sucked out of me. Not like that the writing is bad or like the story is bad just because the content is so hard to read about. Um, but like I said, the writing of this like was not bad at all. It was actually beautifully written. The author did a great, 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 great job um, touching on a topic like this. I thought it showed really true emotion and I definitely took a lot of notes and underlined a lot of things in here. I rated this one four stars. I rated it four stars because it's not going to be like my normal five stars, which are usually like the cartoon covered romances and stuff like that or self-help books. Um, but like it, it was four and a half, five, like in that range, super good. Um, just be careful before you decide to read this. Then after I read that one, I think I was just wanting to read something that was light and fun and I knew something about. So I actually picked up the Cruel Prince series. I actually read, oh no, I actually read The Cruel Prince twice last year, so this is my third time reading it within two years, which is really funny. But yeah, I have the hardcover set of it, so I decided to read it. I also read The Lost Sisters. You guys are going to have to tell me, like, I have it, I listened to it, but I have a little image right here. I listened to it. Is this a physical book that I can buy, or is it only on audio? I've only ever been able to find it on audio, but I just want to know. So if you guys have any info please tell me this series was like my first series into like the fairy fantasy realm and i just love it so much it is ya so it's not like as intense as akatar and i feel like this is a really good place to start um for fantasy because you get all aspects you get romance um action betrayal like you get all of that in this series and it's very digestible to read and yeah, I just love the series so much. All of them are five stars except for The Lost Sisters because I hate Taryn. I'm sorry, I just, I don't like her. And so the book was just whiny. Not that the writing was bad, I just don't like the content. So I think I rated it like three stars. And then after that, I'm trying to read like a Colleen Hoover every month because I just know that I love all of her books. Like all of her books have been five stars for me. And so this series that I read, yes, another series, I read another series and that is Hopeless, um, Losing Hope, Finding Cinderella, All Your Perfects, and then Finding Perfect. So this is a five book series. I will say like that her books are so easy to go through like so quick. Um, so it didn't take me long to read all of these, but I will say she's coming out with new covers. She had already had All Your Perfects cover redone, and then she just came out with all four of these. And the reason I didn't get All Your Perfects the recover is because I wanted it to match. And now I'm like, I'm going to have to buy the entire other series because I love the covers of the other one. This series is very good. I wanted to read All Your Perfects. And... Um, on her Instagram, she had like a reading highlight that said to read it in this order. When I look up content warnings for Hopeless, I always go into Colleen's books with no warning. And I do suggest that as long as you're aware that her books can be a little triggering. But this is like a YA and I feel like I haven't read any of her books that were YA. So that was definitely different. Losing Hope is the same story but told from the guy's point of view. You get some other content. And then Finding Cinderella is another YA. It's a novella about some characters that are in the hopeless all your perfects i heard so many like mixed opinions about this some people love it some people hate it and it's because it's technically a cheating trope i'll just say i don't think this is a cheating trope romance i think it's 
I, I'm not gonna, I don't want to spoil it, but I don't think that's the main plot of this at all. I will say the characters are a little bit unlikable, but in this novella, I feel like you get to see them, and at the end, it's just redeemable, and I actually really like this. I cried when I read this. Um, I just thought it was a really tragic, beautiful love story, but yes, that is enough. I read two five book series this, this month. Wow. Anyways, Colleen Hoover has my heart. I don't, I'm gonna have to figure out what book I'm gonna read for her next month. I think I have like Heart Bones and Regretting You. I'm gonna have to read one of them. I'm not sure which one though. I think I left a book somewhere in my room, but I'm afraid to get up because my camera's like balancing. I'm on my bed right now. So for my nonfiction, I read Gospel 101 by Jeff Dodge. I'll just insert an image. It is just basically a workbook to tell you how to share the gospel, what is the gospel. I thought it was really good. I read it at five stars. I think it's a really digestible way to get into the gospel and I feel like I really want to become better at sharing it. And so I think that class in the book was really helpful. This is actually technically a nonfiction. Well, it's hard because this is based off of a fiction story, but these are the scripts for the TV show. So is this considered, are scripts considered nonfiction? I don't know. Anyways, I don't even know whether or not to count this. I'm going to because I read it from cover to cover. Essentially what I did is I rewatched the show with this in my hands and just like, read it while it was happening of course i didn't read every line but um yeah i love sally rooney i will say i read normal people last july and i didn't like it like well i liked it but it wasn't my favorite and then in march i read all of her other ones i read beautiful world where are you conversations with friends um I read Mr. Salary and I love I love her. So I don't know what happened last July. So I felt like I needed to get this, rewatch the show. I love the show by the way. I just didn't, I didn't connect with the characters when I first read it, but I think that may have been like where I was in my headset. But anyways, love this. I read it at 5 stars. Next we're getting into all of my digital books. I read a lot of digital books. I think I read 6. So let's get into it my favorite book of this month is archer's voice oh gosh it was so good guys i i my heart broke like three times throughout this story and five stars immediately five stars and i just want to say you have to read it you literally have to read it Sh mia sheridan made me feel like how colleen hoover's books made me feel and that's just amazing i have another one of her books like on my tbr for um may which also there will be a May TBR video coming out soon. So if you want to watch that, subscribe. But anyways, I loved, I loved it. It was, it was literally so good. It, next, randomly after I read Archer's Voice, I was like, I need another series. Like, and I remembered a scene from a book that I read from high school. And it was like hands, hands out the wall, like pulling. And there was a girl and she went to the underworld and she was like, oh, I can't eat. And then she kissed the guy and it just led to something. And with that, only that information, knowing it was a Persephone and Hades retelling, I was able to find the series. I will say I searched and I read an entire series before I remembered the actual one. So this series is the one that I thought it was, but it turned out not to be. But I had read this series before. Anyways, these are two series I read in high school. Both of them were Persephone and Hades retelling. The first one is the Abandoned series. There are three books in this. I read all of them, Abandon, Awaken, and Underworld. I will just say the series is not that good, um, but I personally enjoyed reading it because it reminded me of when I was like 14 or 13 reading it for the first time and so it was very nostalgic not again not the best series i wouldn't recommend it if you're looking for an actual persephone and hades retelling but it was really fun to read after i finished that series i remembered the actual series with the scene that i just described to you i immediately bought it and i've read the first two i'm halfway through the third one and then there's a novella and i never knew about the novella so i'm very excited about that but it is the Everneath series and I was like, oh, I didn't really like the Abandoned series now as an adult, so I probably won't like the Everneath. I rated both of them four stars, guys. I think they're super good. The writing is great. Um, I've read the first two and like I said, there's two more that I'm going to be reading and yeah, 
they're super good guys i think that is going to be it for this video because that is all the 18 books i read this month i did not realize i read 18 books that is a lot i don't know how i did that because school has been crazy but i think it i think it's generally because of my ipad and since i read on apple books i have it on my phone and on my ipad and i can just read like when i'm walking to class or like waiting for class to start i'm just always reading right now and i really like it um i will say i do buy my books on apple books instead of using libby so that's not good but we'll get it figured out go ahead and go thanks so much for watching let me know what you guys read in the month of april i'd love to hear love book recommendations and yeah i'll see you guys very soon Peace and love. Bye, guys.